Hi everyone, I'm Gaurav Pandey, you're Gaurav here. In this particular video, I'll talk about what is the difference between front-end, back-end development and how much salary they make, what are the technology you need to learn to become a front-end, back-end developer and again, which career you should choose. So before I begin, before I begin, I just want to show you something on the internet. So here I'll go, I'll search for India on Wikipedia. So now if I'll go to this particular website, here I'll learn everything about my India. Great thing. But what, what I want you to do as of now, just observe the structure, okay? Observe everything that you are able to see. I'm just going to change the URL. At the place of India, I'll write the Nepal. I'll write the Nepal. What's happening? What's happening? Tell me. The whole structure is the same, just data has changed. Just data has changed. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Is this happening for this or it will work for everything? So now what happened? I just, when I change just this URL, then again the whole data has been changed. And the structure is same. So the front end part means which is visual to you. This structure is visual to you. This structure is visual to you. So this is the part of the front end. This is the part of the front end. Whatever you are able to see on the screen, that is the part of the front end. But whatever is running it, that is the back end. Basically, when you change this particular URL, you are getting the data from the data. That is the back end development. That is the back end development. Okay. I'll give you another example. Let's suppose I'm visiting to the Amazon. And here I'm going to see a few products. Okay, so here the Amazon's website, right? So now you'll see that a lot of products are listed here. So again, whatever you're seeing, that is a part of the front end. But like how these images are coming from the database, that is a part of the back end development. So basically, front end developers are working on the front end part, which is visual to everybody, which is visual to like to the world. But the backend developers work in the backend means they create the databases, they manage the databases, they create the login processes, right? They are the reason why which we are able to make the phone pay or Google Pay transaction every day. So this transaction process are being maintained by the backend developers, right? So whatever you're working on the server, like you're creating databases or you're handling the security. So these things are the work of the backend developers and frontend developers, they'll create the interface for the user. Right, and this interface is running because of the backend. That's why they're getting the images, they are getting everything as smooth like, as they required. Again, the logging process, like you want to, you know, sign up or sign in, that process being maintained by the backend developers in the backend systems. Right, but that interface that form, the login form will be created by the frontend developers. So now I hope you are very clear with the front and back end. Like whatever is visible is front end, and whatever is not visible but is responsible for running this front end is the back end. Right. Now we'll go back what all the technology you need to learn to become a front-end developer. So basically you must know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and after that you have a choice. That either you learn React, JS, Next.js or you know some other technologies so that you will have a choice for advanced front-end development. But here are a few examples of front-end technologies. right? And the, another thing you already know what, what are the back-end developers? They are the person behind every microservice. They are the person behind every transaction which is being happened. Right. Again, they are the person who is creating the database, who is managing the databases. Right. So these are the processes that are managing by the backend developers. And if you want to be a backend developer, you want to be somebody whose code will be running on almost every device, that time you need to learn Express.js, Node.js, or MongoDB. But again, there are a lot of backend technology. It's not they are not specific that let's have somebody very good with Java. So they can choose backend development in Spring Boot. Again, somebody good with in, in JavaScript, they'll choose with Node.js and Express.js, or somebody is very good with Python, so they'll choose Django or something. Right. So it's up to the requirement, up to the knowledge what you have. Okay. And now the next thing is that you know how much salary people make, how much salary they make as a front-end developer or as a back-end developer. Okay. So basically, this question varies companies to company. Uh, because if you're working with a startup, you're working with a smaller company, probably you will have a lower package. But if you're working with very big companies, uh, let's suppose you're working with Google or Amazon or something, then you will have very, very good packages, right? Very good packages. So again, for average salary, I'll talk about for front-end developers, people get around 5 to 7 LPA. And for back-end developers, people get around 7 to 9, 10 LPA as a fresher in a startups and mid-level companies. Again, for top MNC, they, they are having very good packages, around 15 LPA, 20 LPA, or more than this as well. But experienced people are really making a good sort of money. Uh, for startups, if somebody has experience of five to six years, they're making around 20, 30 LPA. So almost every experienced guy who's having the experience of three to four years, they're having 15 plus LPA. 
and the top people for example the avp of the companies they're having 60 70 80 90 lpa or some people in the crs as well so this number will vary how much tasks are handling but not limited to a particular tech stack right you will be expert in the different fields again here the last question comes uh, you where yeah, you told everything you told about front end back end and the salaries also so now now what i should choose and i'll say that if you're very good with designing you're really passionate about our creativity you're really passionate about the colors and things then you should go for the front end you are somebody who want results immediately you should go for the front end because only then you'll write the code and see the output but if you are somebody who are very good with the logic building who can solve the complex problems who can solve the complex queries they should choose the back end development because the people who are very good with the iq the people who are very good with ds and problem solving mathematics they are very good back end developers okay but anyway you should try both the fields at the starting stage whatever gets interest of yours then choose that thing and again how you can learn all these technology like front and back end development you can you can go one place that is a present stop prime that is basically the netflix of the coders so go and ready with the popcorn and chill over there so there you'll get 200 plus courses under one subscription and you will have unlimited entertainment of coding <laughs> right means unlimited knowledge of coding right and you'll learn a lot of things so that can be one good place go there check it out the everything like how you'll get the help of it but there you'll see multiple courses of the front end back end also dsa digital marketing and other things so you'll get over there so the next video till then take care bye bye and i hope you really enjoyed the video if you really enjoyed like the video share the video with your other friends who really need it and subscribe the channel if you're coming for the very first time by which you can get the further updates so the next video till then take care bye bye